hello and welcome to this video today we are having a closer look at this Land Rover Defender so this one is a 2021 one it's a diesel as you perhaps can hear it's with the 2.0 240 horsepower engine this is a four-wheel drive utility vehicle without further ado let's get into it the Land Rover Defender has for many years been a, a odd looking car before this facelift that they gave the car the car looked like something out of the perhaps uh, 90s 80s uh, like a Gelände Wagen uh, but today it looks a lot more fresh it has some unique features and looks very stylish for a utility vehicle here you can clearly see the size of the car. It is a huge car that has a large presence on the road. It's a big utility vehicle that can definitely go off-road. You can see here some of the air vents with the logo Defender on it. On the bonnet you have these plates, metal plates. full LED headlights and fog lights down here you have 360 view cameras all around the car and parking sensors th throughout the Land Rover is one of the few cars modern cars that actually comes with a spare tire this one is fitted to the rear LED tail lights as well very masculine in design I do like this redesign I think it's a great looking car you can see the exhaust down here below and you can see in the center you have a hidden trailer hitch as well you have this plate on the side You have a little shark fin and this vehicle is also fitted with a panoramic sunroof that opens even though the wheels look very small compared to the size of the car they are 20 inch wheels but that was the exterior now let's have a look at the interior of the car the car is fitted with comfort access so you have if you have the car locked you can just lock the car here and uh, just pull the handle for opening the car it is a very sturdy built car you have some soft leather like material on the door cards and hard plastics with torque bolts throughout let's get inside the car so we can get the beeping to stop so you definitely feel that it's a, a car built for utility it's not a luxurious car inside and uh, although you get kind of a, a premium feel so let's start with the steering wheel it's a hard steering wheel nothing soft about it it's a large one it says defender here on the airbag and you have controls on either side um, a bit swapped around from what you usually see over here you have the radio controls phone controls and on the other side you have the cruise control settings steering wheel heating cruise limiter uh, and so on it's very hard uh, so nothing sporty about it it's definitely a off-roading capable steering wheel uh, that is built to last here you have the information about the uh, lights blinkers and over here you have the wipers there's a rear wiper as well center dash is digital and shows you the torque of the vehicle this one has only done 7,000 kilometers so it is fairly new on the door cards we have mirror controls you have uh, 
the um, setting for the seats they are fully electric window controls and door lock you have a speaker up here and a speaker down here in the bottom a regular door handle here you have the electronic parking brake and you have the hood release down there we have the central screen here start stop button gear lever as you would expect to raise and lower the car uh, the, the height itself you have some uh, extra traction control here uh, low setting for driving in the mountains you have some uh, auto start stop hill descent and these are all the HVAC systems here you can see the dual zone for the front seats down here we have some USB C's and a regular USB and you have a, another port here for power 12 volt you have a large copy underneath here the whole center console two cup holders and a little tray and a cooled storage compartment for your drinks you can see here there are some settings you can change how you want it isofix in the front seats as well leather in the center and fabric on the outside meridian sound system here in the car here you have another 12 volt or a usb socket and you have a little copy space here and goes throughout the front of the car here and same here you have a, a grab handle so it is really built for for utility off-roading visibility inside the car uh, you have some large mirrors so it's good to see out the car rear view mirror is not the best it's uh, since you have the spare tire it kind of hides some of the view out the back and you have some quite large pillars if we look back here I'll jump into the back seat just in a second the lovely roof here panoramic sunroof you can choose to change the settings here uh, you can open and close it and the blind here and you have a vice uh, or a for your sunglasses uh. so my driving position um, when I'm all the way down as I am right now I sit quite high high up in the car and uh, that's very usual for electric seats um, you can move some of the seat settings uh, and move the seat a bit further back uh, but my driving position is okay I have plenty of headroom as you can see so that's definitely not a problem I would like to sit a bit lower in the car I'm 196 um, but um, that's just how it is sometimes my view is uh, good I could actually easily move the the seat a bit forward and uh, I would look straight out the, the side window so leg room same tons of room um, so plenty of room in the front seats if you're on the taller side you will sit higher up in the car and with the electronic seats here you can't lower them so you'll have the perfect driving position at least for my height uh, but uh, yeah that's individual Let's jump back into the rear seats and see how they fare. So, in the rear seats, you have plenty of legroom. As you can see, there's no problem here. You have a little storage compartment here, and you have the possibility to add some extra things here. There's a 5 volt here to charge things, and you can buy adapters for different items here to place an iPad or a similar items you have some different volt charging capacities here uh, both 12 volts two of those and two USBs regular USBs and a little copy space here and then you have two vents uh, you can't change the, the climate zone here you have some grab handles and you actually get a little light in from these small rear windows amazing you have some lights here 
and we have the view of the panoramic sunroof. So again, plenty of legroom, plenty of headroom. So fitting, I would say, three adults. The floor is pretty flat, almost flat. I'll, I'll show you here. You can see that the floor is almost flat, so it's definitely no problem fitting three people in the rear. Headroom is no problem, and you have plenty of visibility for a rear passenger, so getting car sick should not be a problem either. Here in the center, you have an armrest with two cup holders. Very simple, nothing special about it. You have Isofix in both of the rear seats, so you have room for three child seats in this car in total both one in the front and two in the rear now let's check out the trunk so one of the unique features of the defender is how you open the trunk that it is this kind of style you have good protection here for different kind of luggage it is built for off-road, so you can definitely tell that on the materials. You have tie-down hooks here, you have some nets on the side. Even up here, if you are carrying extra, perhaps, oil or water on both sides. Here you have a regular clock to household items. You have coat hanger or grocery hook hangers. Down below here you have a little cubby space, as you can see here, not a room for a ton, but uh, at least there's room for some items. Very uh, heavy duty build. Here you can raise and lower the car and there's for the trailer hitch as well and for lighting on the trailer. I'll show you here below the amount of space you have in the car. You can of course lower the seats as well. And there's some cubby spaces here in the rear door, rear hatch as well. So, what do I think about this first edition Defender? I actually enjoy this car very much. I think this has a lot of things to offer and I think it comes with all the premium necessities that you would expect of a car like this I'll write down here in the lower screen uh, what you can expect to pay for a similar car like this um, it has everything you want it has GPS it has uh, different uh, audio functions uh, you have the sound system you can uh, add your phone to it uh, it's really really good four-wheel drive it's capable and uh, being a defender it should be fairly reliable as well um, not as the Range Rover series uh, Range Rover Sport especially that has some issues with the reliability so overall I, I really like the design of the car I think it's amazing looking car and I think you get a ton of room for the money um, I think if you have the nece necessity for a four-wheel drive car this is definitely a car that you should consider this is up there with a Geländewagen, a G-Class, uh, Mercedes uh, BMW doesn't really have something similar like this that is fully off-road capable um, the X7 comes up there but it, that's more like a Range Rover Sport version so I think this one is very unique and I think if you're in the market for a large utility vehicle to hold five adults around on uh, off-road terrain I think this is definitely a vehicle that you should consider It's definitely not fully premium feel like you'll get in a Range Rover Sport but it has everything that you would want in a car so thank you very much for taking your time to have a look at this review please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this leave a comment or have 
questions, please ask. Go ahead. Without more to add, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.